Okay. Um, back again. So, let's see. We will say, I am fine. I am relieved to hear it. I am ordering the clan to pack the camp so we can go north. Take Meryl with you to the cave. Find Tamlen if you can, but do it swiftly. Mm-hmm. Take Meryl to the cave and find Tamlin. Got it. Go quickly, for Tamlin's life hangs in the balance. I don't really care. Pray for me. All right, let's go talk to people. Woo! Is the keeper sending you back to that cave to look for Tamlin? Yes, I'm going with Meryl. I want to go with you. Keeper Marathari probably won't approve, but I can help find Tamlin. Hmm, don't think that's a good idea. Tamlin's my friend, too. I want to help find him. If Meryl can risk it, so can I. Hmm. I suppose he can come. I don't mind. Friend is friend. Good. I'll follow you. Just to make sure Meryl doesn't go running to the Keeper when you tell her I'm coming. Okay. Bo! Uh, look around, look around. Quickly. Look, scroll. That was Not a great care. Warden. They are supposed to be great warriors. So you have returned to us, Dalen. We are grateful you're whole and you're well. You're orange. On my TV, anyway. Sure, old man. Sure, why not? Such disrespect you show your elders. At least you still have Definitely. fire in your belly. What were you two thinking? Wandering in there without first coming to tell the Keeper? Are you that foolish? Yep. <laughs> mm. We wanted to see if there was anything to tell. I don't know how to say him. Once you saw what was inside, you should have returned. But you kept exploring, didn't you? I suppose your youth can be forgiven. Sadly, Tamlin pays the price. Losing you would be a terrible crime, Dalen. You belong to more than just yourself. But How you old am I supposed to be? I mean, really, you could dress... You make your character as look really old. And they'd probably say the same thing. Weird. What do you mean? Let us tell these children of the fall of the Dales. You can honor me by sharing Fine. the telling. All Dalish should know this tale and hold its lessons close to heart. Children. Hear of the fall of the Dales. That's my cat. Hear the tale of what makes you Dalish. Would you care to begin, Dalen? Okay, long ago we were slaves to humans. Yes, slaves to a terrible empire. The humans built on the darkest magic. When it fell, we became free. We built a homeland in the Dales, worshipping the creators and rebuilding the culture and history we lost in our long years of slavery. But the humans wouldn't let us be. Oh no. They were resentful. Because we would not worship their gods. And because we put our people first. Over the years, their nations grew cold toward the Dales. In their eyes, we were blasphemers and cruel tyrants. Then the humans declared war on the Dales. And so the Dales fell. They took our lands and dispersed our people, forcing us to live in their cities and abandon our gods. But many of us refused to relinquish our ways. We instead chose to scatter to the winds, wandering the lands. We chose wandering the lands rather than the human rule. 
to survive and preserve our culture. The clans stay apart until the day the Elvenon have a homeland once more. We shall return the old ways to those who have lost them. We are the Dalish, keepers of the lost lore, walkers of the lonely We path. are the last Elvenon. Never again shall we submit. I totally butchered that. Thank you for your forbearance, Dalen. You remember both the tale and the oath of the Dales perfectly. I will let you get back to your tasks. I pray you find time. Thank you. Quickly. Finally. Mm. I'm gonna ask: Did elves ever live in caves? I've never heard of such a thing. But in the days of ancient Arlathan, we lived free and spread far across the continent. We were as varied as the Shemlin, though fewer in number. Perhaps some of us lived in caves then, but all knowledge from that era is lost. Okay, I should go. Of course. May the gods guide your path, Dalen. All right. Um, just. Are you deaf? Yeah. Nope. Yep. Over with. Mine. Mine. Can't open that. Book. Woohoo. Mm. Need stuff. Lots of stuff. Feel bad for Tamlin. I totally stripped him naked. <laughs> and he gets captured or something. He dies. He's missing. Alone and naked in his nakedness. Though. I'm glad you've recovered. Once we find Tamlin, we can concentrate on the journey northward. Thank you for the bow, Master Island. It is light and sturdy, much better than the one I made last year. You are more than welcome. My father made it and used it in battle against the Clane tribes. I will carry it with honor. Hmm, could you make me a bow? One of my own crafting, perhaps? Yes. So I can sell it. <laughs> it may not have a history, but you'll provide one for it soon enough, yes? Hmm. Sure. Of course. What we'll do you have? You need. Okay. No. Mm -mm. Mm-mm. Right. Need that. Need money, though. Trap. Alright, um, I'll never use an axe, so let's sell that. Care. Care. One fifty. Fifty. What's the difference? Hmm. I might need that. I'll need those. Need that. Okay. See, look at me, I'm already selling stuff. Codes. What the heck is that? Oh, it looks like a lamp. Nine minutes. Damn. I don't wanna. You don't give me anything. No. I believe you have a cutscene. That's Meryl. Anathara, it's good to see you recovered. Hala. 
they fare well. The Keeper called for the clan to move on, and they will be ready to take us. One is heavy with calf, but it shouldn't be a problem. May I ask of Tamlin's fate? Some say the clan will leave before we find him. You know, the Hala kind of remind me of that spirit in Princess Monomoke. I don't know why. They don't even look... Well, look at that! <laughs> hmm. Let's see. We're going to find him. Don't worry. The Hala mourn our fallen. No sound is more heart-wrenching than their mourning cry. At least they won't be crying over you. They are quite fond of you. The Hala are beautiful creatures. I admire them for their strength and pride. They are equals, not servants like the Shemlin horses. At any rate, I do not envy the Keeper's decision. I'll pray for Tamlin's safe return. Lenar likes animals. She's an animal person. Uh, da -da. Ooh, chest! I like chest. Moving on. Let's talk to you. By the creators, it is so good to see you whole and well. I was so worried. Uh, no, no, no. You really shouldn't worry so much about me. I can't help it, dear. I've raised you since your poor mother died. I've been outside the Keeper's tent the whole time. I have never been so relieved as when I heard you would pull through. What happened? Everyone says Tamlin may be dead. He's missing. That's all we know right now. That's awful. He's been a good friend to you since you were fledglings. You must be more careful. Your mother and father, may they rest in peace, would be horrified to see you take such risks. Never spoken of my parents much. What happened to them is a sad tale, and it's in the past. Reopening old wounds benefits no one. Don't we daily strive to learn of our past? True. Perhaps you're old enough to hear this, though it... And this I is why like having right persuasion is a very good thing in this game. Because you need it a lot. Is there ever a good time? Very well. If I do not tell you now, you'll only wonder. Your mother was a hunter, one of the finest. And your father was the keeper before Marathari. He was with us for a very long time. Your mother was from another clan, and her elders did not approve of the match. She and your father had to meet in secret. One day, bandits caught them alone in the forest. Your father was killed. But your mother escaped. Hmm. Uh... Humans killed my father? Yes, but also city elves, too. Those of our kind living with humans do not hold to the old ways. Your mother held to life long enough to give birth to you. But grief racked her heart. One night, she, she simply walked into the moonlight and never returned. My mother abandoned me? She just couldn't carry on without your father. The clan decided not to discuss this around you, lest it poison your wow. heart and sadness. My life sucks. Both of my parents died. That's great. I think the others, you at least get one parent. You should have told me, damn it! <laughs> Our people have learned to live with much sorrow. It seemed only right that we not dwell on it. Your mother did leave you a gift. Something of your father's for you to have once you were older. Perhaps the time has come. Oh, where is it? Take this key. You'll see some chests behind the storage Aravel by the Halapen. One of them was your mother's. Its contents are yours if you wish. Okay, we're gonna stop here. See you. Thank you for watching. See you in the next Let's Play. Thank you. Okay.